Or it is also to like to share the proof of this trigonometric identity. I will first rewrite the left hand side as sine 3x minus sine x plus sine 2x. Since we have some minus on the left hand side, but what we need here is product. So I'm going to apply the product sum identity refer to the dead. Since we have sine minus sine, so refer to the third, we should have 2 cos a plus b over 2 and sine a minus b over 2. So I will first let a be equal to 3x and b be equal to x, which means that a plus b divided by 2, we have 2x and a minus b divided by 2, we have x. Rewrite the equation, so we should have 2 cos 2x sine x plus sine 2x here we can apply the double angle identity so which means that we should have 2 sine x cos x and let's factorize the common term so we have 2 sine x times cos 2x plus cos x again we don't want some difference but what we want is product so again we need to apply the product sum identity for this case we have cos and cos so refer to cos and cos with sum in between so we should apply this identity so again we need to let a for this case is 2x and b for this case is equal to x so which means that a plus b over 2 is equal to 3x over 2 and a minus b over 2 is equal to x over 2 so which means that we have 2 sine x refer to the formula we have 2 there so we write 2 cos a plus b so 3x over 2 cos x over 2 and we should rewrite and simplify so 2 times 2 is 4 sine x so followed by a smaller angle first so we have cos x over 2 and followed by bigger angle 3x over 2 and hence we can realize that this is actually the right hand side and done okay that's all for this video thanks for watching hope you like this see you